Big Daddy here. We're going to check out today how I back up and restore my Firefox and Thunderbird and pretty much any other program you can you want to do. So to start out with just a little background information, I have my system drive. It's a 500 gigabyte solid state and I partition that so that I have like a 28 or 29 gigabyte root partition and then the rest of it is a 400 and some gigabyte home partition and then a swap file. So when I go to install a new operating system, I will not just install it just on the main drive, I will do the something else option when you get to it in the installer and I will show it my root partition and format that and then I will show it my home partition and not format that so that when it installs all of the settings from the previous operating system especially if it's the same desktop environment will be picked up when you boot into the new operating system including all of the programs Firefox Thunderbird and any other programs that are, you have installed into your that you had previously installed that have settings so in order to restore those I well I just installed Mate and I overwrote my neon overwrote that's not even a word is it <laughs> that's big daddy terminology anyway um, I installed Mate and I actually redid I formatted my home folder because after collecting so many operating systems as a side job over the years I have picked up so many different settings that it's best every once in a while to clear them out so I have a backup of it. I did a lucky backup of it. So I do have it. So I'm going to restore my Firefox. So this is how you do it. So I'm going to go to my home folder and I am going to first hit this cool feature F3. Yeah, look at that. Um, anyway, that is not the same as a new opening in a new tab because you can actually see both and do the drag and drop operations. So I'm going to show hidden files and you see there is a dot mozilla folder oh no there isn't what the oh my gosh anyway when you oh, that's because i already deleted it but when you open up firefox in mate at first you're going to see this this is the generic mate with their their home page okay so now you see the Mozilla dot mozilla folder that it makes creates when you first install it so we don't need that so we're going to move that to the trash and then I'm going to come over here and I did bookmark my home backup but let me show you this cool feature that I did just trying to prepare for the video itself I was fumbling around for the location of my backup and you can't just simply add locations up here like you can in KDE and whatnot but you can add bookmarks but what I did was if you right click on the folders you can change the folder colors to anything you want and I did a pretty much like a folder path to my backup. <laughs> I thought it was pretty cool. Not that you need that because you can just click this. But anyway, this is my home folder that I have uh, backed up. And it has, like I said, all of these extra programs that you really, that I have picked up over the years that I just never cleared out. But here is my .mozilla folder. I'm going to drag that over and that's going to copy over now I'm in the middle of copying this humongous folder that I have and that include that's a folder that includes all of the icons and themes that I've collected over the years and I probably should just get rid of it and start over but you know there's always that one theme or one icon set that you it's not available anymore and it was really a good icon set and so I keep all of them and but now there's like over this started like I don't know 25 minutes ago but because there's so many small little tiny files in there I don't know it says eight hours left is that gonna have to really take eight hours <laughs> I hope not anyway dot Mozilla back to what we were doing get off track every once in a while so once that's copied in which it is now when I click Firefox voila I have all my add-ons, all of my bookmarks, everything's back. It's going to ask if I want to restore the session. I restore it, and there's my Firefox, all back to the way it was before I left.
it's like going home it's like what it is it's like going home and you can do that uh for thunderbird i did i actually copied over thunderbird and you can do that for any program that you want to keep like a lot of programs don't have housed the folder right in the home folder but it's in the dot config folder so like for example i run a program called auto key which auto types certain things in for me because i like that and uh that i can drag over into my dot config folder and if this happens you just merge them apply this actions and merge them and it's going to ask me to replace because i already did copy it over but now when I install AutoKey, all of my settings, all of my entries will be there just like they would be when before I left. So there you have it. There's how I back up Firefox and Thunderbird. There's multiple ways to do it. I don't know if there's a perfect way. Some people do it in the cloud. Some people do it, you know, other drives. Some people do it on flash drives. You do it however way you need to do it. I'm just telling you how I do it. So big daddy. Oh.